A week after the start of the 2020 school year in RSU 56. We ended up having one positive case, which um, according to our framework meant we closed for 72 hours our schools and went to virtual learning for all students. Pam Doyen, the superintendent and principal of Dirigo High School, says during that 72 hour cleaning period, we heard about two more cases at our high schools. So the entire district went all virtual for 14 days. And then as soon as we came back from that, or as we were getting ready to, the Oxford County went yellow, which in our framework says that we will do a hybrid model. During that time, depending which town students were from, they would go into school for two days a week. Wednesday was a building cleaning day, and the rest of the lessons would be online. So we have done basically all parts of our plan thus far this year. Doyen tells us the school board approved a plan that outlined all of these scenarios that she and other admins, teachers, union reps helped to put together. The Maine CDC says that while they share public health guidance through their color-coded school health advisory system, the call comes to local school officials on whether or not to close their schools. Doyen says having a plan early on really spelled things out for parents, students, and educators. And I think it's really important that, that the school board, you know, accepted the plan, voted on it, and it made it really clear from the beginning, which makes life a lot easier. You're not trying to make decisions on the fly. Superintendent Doyen did tell us that there has been a slight increase in the number of students who have wanted to go all virtual. There's now 60% of students who are attending all uh, in-person classes as they are now back in. And she's saying she's hoping that it stays that way, that they have no positive cases and that Oxford County remains in that color code of green. Reporting for WMTW News 8, I'm Mary-Kate Mannion.